Well, an exciting day for football fans, but also frightening time to be on the roads. Drunk driving crashes can double on the biggest game day of the year. And after three pedestrian deaths caused by an alleged drunk driver last week, it's raised awareness of the issue during today's celebrations. Erica Engel reports. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday is among the busiest days of the year for taxi companies like the cab, which starts the day with 250 drivers and increases staffing later in the day as demand for safe rides home increases. After the game's over, they still those are drinking more are sad because their team lost. Those are drinking more are happy because their team won. Mm -hmm. So either which way, you know, everybody's you know drinking and having fun, which is good. But the problem is, is that they should find a ride home. Higa says on the roads, safety is everybody's responsibility. And we saw just recently a very bad accident that killed three people. And obviously there is public awareness. So hopefully this year, we're not going to have an incident like that. Alcohol is a big part of Super Bowl Sunday. And for responsible partakers, so is planning ahead for a safe ride home. Todd Matsumoto, owner of Matsumoto's Okazuya, throws a big Super Bowl party each year and has options for any guests who overindulge. So they all just got their license, him and all his friends, right? So they are, if you've got anybody that needs a ride, then they'll offer to drop them off, yeah? So everybody gets some safe. Honolulu police made nearly 4,000 arrests of adults and 19 juveniles for driving under the influence in 2017, the last year that final figures are available. Everybody wants to drink and have fun, but on the way back home, since we've been having all these major accidents, you know, everybody should consider having people drive them home. One person requesting a game day cab wanted to go from town to Kaneohe. He told the dispatcher he wanted to be able to have a good time and not worry about driving. He also didn't want his wife to worry. That potentially life saving decision cost less than $42. A DUI or injuring someone while driving drunk can be much more costly in more ways than one. Erica Engel, KHON2 News.